Sotolol is class 3 antiarrhythmic drug, which also has non-selective beta-blocker activity. The livoisomer of sotolol has beta-blocking activity and dextroisomer of sotolol has class 3 antiarrhythmic action. Talking about the mechanism of action. Sotolol works by preventing the catecholamines, like norepinephrine and epinephrine from binding to receptors and activating them, this ultimately decrease heart contractility and slow the conduction through the atrioventricular or AV node. Sotolol is used for arrhythmias, which include supraventricular tachycardia, paroxysmal atrial tachycardia, atrial fibrillation, and ventricular fibrillation. Since sotolol has beta-blocking properties, it is commonly used for these indications in patients with left ventricular hypertrophy or atherosclerotic heart disease. It is only beta-blocker drug that block potassium channel, so, that's why it is also used as an antiarrhythmic agent. Side effects of sotolol include, dizziness, fatigue, bronchospasm, hyperglycemia, hypertriglyceridemia, hyperkalemia, and masking the symptoms of hypoglycemia. Sotolol also has a boxed warning for life-threatening proarrhythmia. As far as contraindications are concerned, Sotolol is contraindicated in second or third degree heart block, sinus bradycardia, cardiogenic shock, and asthma. Dose adjustment is needed in case of renal impairment. Adjust dosing interval based on serum creatinine levels to decrease risk of proarrhythmia. Lastly, QD interval prolongation is directly related to sotolol concentration. So, that was all about the pharmacology of sotolol. Hope you like this video, for more pharmacology pearls, keep sharing and keep supporting us, thank you.